hey guys welcome back to my channel so i know it's been a minute but your girl been on the go with baby girl getting this college prep stuff together so listen i am going to show you guys today i'm going to show you the new setup of the boutique i am so anal i get on my own damn nerves i wanted everything to be perfect everything to be clean everything to be in the right place but y'all know what that shit just not gonna happen it's just not gonna happen right now it's a lot going on it's a lot of moving parts things are just in different places so i'm just gonna go ahead and film the video and keep moving I have shown you guys my closet before so we're starting in the closet because I do keep some of my bags in here. This is of course where all the bags were when I first started out. I didn't have a cave. It was called our sitting room. I didn't have a boutique. It was just the loft. Um, just kind of an open area where we had like a TV, a couch, video game for the kids, things of that nature. So anywho, starting in here um this is my closet this is my side of the closet so i'm showing you guys where i do have some of my bags stored this is the um if you know you know on the go mm tote from um the gate that's my artsy that's a neverfull gm that's a um louis vuitton on the go gm in that jungle print the uh what do you call that <laughs> walmart bag full of air paper is because i'm currently in um, a Victoria's Secret tote as my planner bag and then that's the clear tote bag from Amazon I've shown you guys that I take to Jazz's games and then we have my keep all I really should have grabbed those damn readers anyway we have my um keep all 45 in that sunrise pastel print and then down here these are like some extra clothes these are some um what do you call them the straps the crossbody strap and the shoulder strap let me see okay um, the crossbody strap and the shoulder straps for some of these rogues are in this container right here. And then these are all of my rogues. I don't know all of their official names. I know we've got a pink one, a yellow one, um, a black one, another pink one, a green one, a um, Layla purple one. But it kind of has great undertones, but I still love it. And then I have the um, green one, which I think I remember the name of that one. I think it's called Amazon Green. And then on the side, it has kind of those rusty orange kind of fall colors. Hopefully that was clear. I feel like when I put my finger in frame, the cameras want to act weird. Um, over here is a white drawstring purse from Victoria's Secret. It does still have tags on it. I am going to do a bags with tags video. And then this is a um, toiletry 26 in the a scale whatever print. Um, sometimes I use it as a hair bag. Sometimes I use it as a toiletry bag. Um, I haven't quite used it as a crossbody, but I do have the little insert and a chain strap where I can do so. Um, this tower was not in the closet last time, so I just have a bunch of travel things on there, like the cruise tags, um, compression cubes, small lotions, body sprays, um, our toiletry bags, my extra pouch with like, you know, wipes, liners, bathroom spray, all that fun stuff is in there. And of course my clothes, but we're not here for that. I did want to show you guys this down here because I have shown that in a previous closet video and these cabinets used to be in the boutique. So now you guys can kind of get an idea of these cabinets are not going to be there. It's going to be something totally different in there that really brightens up the area. This brown looked cute at first, but then it was just very dark. And then just, I'm just a colorful, lively person. Like if you just look at my array of clothes, like I just like colors. I just like bright and vibrant and just colors. I don't know. Um, anywho, so it was three cabinets that were in the boutique. So this is two of them. I have my clothes in them the exact same way that I had them in the cubes before. And hopefully y'all don't get too dizzy. The third um, cabinet is over here on hubby's side. And he has some of his sweaters and um, clothes in here. This tower right here was also in the boutique. So I'm pointing that out because it is no longer in there. And then I want to show you guys up top on hubby's side. Just because this bronze stand right here. And also the one on this side, they were both in the boutique as well. They were on top of those brown cabinets with bags in them. So I wanted to show you guys that because when we get to the boutique, you'll see that that is not there. And then the back of the door is a little chaotic because I've got some dresses and stuff hung here. But let me see if I can just move them. Because the shirts for the sneaker ball. Sorry, y'all. And then this is my dress for the sneaker ball. If you guys do not follow Determined to Be or, you know, Michelle, my back sister here on YouTube and Instagram, you definitely should. She's having Jayla's second annual sneaker ball. Um, and you guys definitely should go. Y'all see me in the mirror here. Hello. 
So on the back here, I have a bunch of, they're called utility hooks. They're actually from the Dollar Tree. They come, I think, a silver color, and I just painted them mint and purple to go with the closet. At the time, I was kind of doing mint and purple. Now I'm just kind of purple, but I do still have a couple of mint cubes. So anywho, I painted them mint, and then I just alternated. So two are mint, two are purple, and it goes all the way down. And basically, I think I'm zoomed out all the way. No? Yeah, I am. Basically, I have eight of those hooks on the back. As you can see, it does have two... Um, kind of, I guess, hooks or arms, you could say. I don't know what you want to call it. But I just hang a bag on one because when you hang it on two, it makes the the, the bag strap, it makes it boxy, like it puts the indent in it. So, anywho, this bag is a um, hand carry satchel. It's from Kate Spade, right? Or is it Michael Kors? Yeah, Kate Spade. I call this my interview bag. <laughs> it's actually large enough to hold my little portfolio, which holds my resumes and stuff in it. So recently, the only time I've carried that bag is when I was going on an interview. Um, but that's one of my all black bags. Y'all know I'm not one that buys a lot of black bags. I'm a colorful person. So these are the Juicy Couture uh, mini backpacks that we all were kind of in love with and buying last summer. I'm still in love with mine and have all of mine, except for that purple-ish color that I had. It just, the shade of purple in it just did not go with anything I I had so I did sell that one on Macari and I also sold um, three of the medium sized backpacks and I only kept the denim one with the words and stuff on it so we've got brown one black one you saw the pink one um, the black rainbow the white rainbow the Layla purple which does have a lot of pinkish undertones and then that is similar to the coach watermelon lemonade color um, so that's what that is if anybody is peeking let me see if I can get my finger in there right here are these rods this is my jewelry wall we're not here for this but I'm just gonna show an overview real quick I have some small curtain rods on some more of those utility hooks from the Dollar Tree with all of my bracelets. Then I have this doohickey here. This is just a frame that I got from Goodwill and I poked out the picture, added in some little hooks and hung all of my bracelets, anklets, all of that stuff on there. Then I have this little tray here that just has a couple of pieces of jewelry on it. We got the mirror where y'all can see me. Hey, y'all. Hey. And then up here, I have another frame that I poked out the uh, picture. Of course, I did paint it. As you see, the other one was um, the mint color. This one is purple. Got some more necklaces up there. And then this is actually one of those little organizers for an office and I thought it would be brilliant to repurpose it. I painted it, found it at the Goodwill as well, painted it and I hung some of my earrings on it that have, I don't know what you call it, but the little stick part that you have to stick in your ear and then put it back on it. So I just hung those earrings up there. And then this is just a canvas from the Dollar Tree. I just put some packaging tape on the back of it. Um, put a nail in the wall and then I just poke the earrings I use the nail at first to create the hole for each earring But then I just poke the earring through the front and put the back of the earring on the back So that's what that is and that's essentially the closet But I just really came in here to show you guys the bags and then the Cabinets because they were in the boutique, but they won't be anymore. So I don't want you guys to get dizzy So I'm just gonna kind of move from screen to screen and get you guys moved over to the next room Stand by all right, ladies and gentlemen, and we're back. Okay, so from my room, the master bedroom, this is my view. Don't judge me, judge your mama, but there's gonna be stuff out of place. Christmas stuff, we're still in the process of getting up, but this is the view that I see when I come out of my room. So first I wanna show you guys what I do have. Um, right here, this is our um, linen closet that's right in between the master bedroom and the laundry room. Let me see, I don't think I'm gonna need any light, but we'll see. Nope, that looks great, okay. This is one of the little, you know, cosmetic pouches we buy from TJ Maxx, Burlington, whatever y'all know, the timber stores. I got this one as a gift from my girl, Maya E. And then this one down here is a Too Faced um, cosmetic bag that I got free with purchase like two years ago when I got into makeup. In here, I have all of those little skinny books that I um, was using faithfully inside of my bags. When I couldn't fit my whole planner, I would kind of make the book match the bag. So I still have these in here. Don't use them too much, especially since I got the smaller planners that I've been carrying in there, but I have those books here. This one here, the Novel Crown made for me. Isn't this cute, y'all? Look at this. Y'all see my name in the corner? It is awesome. It's hard to open. Let me see if I can get it open with one hand. Oh, I did it. Okay. On the inside, I just have one of those smaller books in there. It does have some slots over here if you wanted to put business cards or credit cards or whatever, and then a pen loop, but she made this for me. Um, kind of as an on-the-go notebook. So since it is a notebook, I do keep it in here with those. And then tucked in the back, I have all of my iPhone 12 phone cases from some of everywhere. Sheen, Amazon, um, this one's from like JCPenney, Five Below. All of my phone cases are in there. And then in the purple pouch, 
I have all of my AirPod cases. Now these I'm currently using for my AirPods for work, which is the iPhone um, generation two, because I currently have generation three for my actual AirPods I connect with my phone. So these I don't switch as often anymore since they don't match my current AirPods. I just switch it when I feel like it for my work AirPods. As I said, this is the linen closet. So we do have containers, we have towels, um, the pouches I just showed you guys and then of course some more towels in these containers is where I like to keep our sheet sets So if anybody was wondering the sheets for the master bed, that's what's in there So I'm gonna stay on this portion This part is irrelevant. It has nothing to do with um, bags This is kind of where we organize all of our stuff, but this one let me move this out a little bit more This one usually is a little bit harder for me to get out, but I can get it out and in here I have all of my pen pouches. So all of my pencil pouches, pen pouches, whatever you want to call them, all the pouches we switch in and out of and of our bags, which I haven't done recently because I noticed I was not reaching for any of the pens in there. I was reaching for the whiteout that I would keep in there um, or the sticky notepad, but never most of the pretty pens. They would just be in there and be pretty and go with the bag, which I love, but if I'm not reaching for it and it's adding weight to the bag, I just went ahead and took it out. So I haven't really switched these except I have been carrying one in my planner bag but i haven't switched that one either y'all because it's got that rose with the layla purple um collection that came out so yeah that's what's in there and then down here in the bottom what's in, what's important are these two right here this is a pvc pouch from amazon i had purchased one for myself it's a three-piece set and then the sweet um miss t had purchased me a set as well so this is where i have um all of my extra other really pretty pens. Um, I've got tons of pretty pens in here. I've got some in the cave as well, but this is where I keep like the set of mild liners and most of the pretty pens that I like to put in my bag, including the lipstick pens. They're in a smaller pouch right here, standing up just to make it a little easier um, to get them and not have to, you know, kind of go through everything. And y'all look how cute this charm is. And it's cute. My sister got me this when she went to Florida one year. So I have that clipped on there and then this, I want to say, is a makeup organizer that I got from Marshalls. I could be wrong. It's from the Timber stores, I know. But in here is where I keep all of my Villa Beautiful pens. I showed you guys the pen gem pens in the cave tour. But this is where I keep the Villa Beautiful. I do keep them separate. And lately, I've been putting the Villa Beautiful ones in my purse. Um, so this is where I have all of them. So every single Villa Beautiful pen I own is in here, except the one that's currently in my purse and then the one that I keep at work. I switch them out you know, with which one I want to write with that week at work. So I keep it on the desk at work. If you're new here, I work from home. So nobody's still in my pen. <laughs> All right. So on the inside of the door, I have one of those over the door pocket organizers. I think it's 12 pockets or wait, maybe it's more than that. One, two, three, four four five six four no it's 24 pockets so essentially this can hold 12 pair of shoes it is considered an over-the-door shoe organizer but people use them for some of everything so i have tried multiple ways of organizing this stuff um and this is just the latest thing that i came up with and i've actually enjoyed it it's been here for probably a good year now i think and i love it so i'm not going to go through everything here but essentially i have some of all kinds of stuff in here, I have those rings that we put on the outside of our bags to allow us to clip on hand sanitizer and charms and stuff. So I've got like a bag of gold and a bag of silver. They are in my storefront on Amazon. Um, I've got some of those wristlets we use for AirPods. I've got the extenders for the Coach Cassie 19. These are some of the straps that come off of pouches and wristlets. Y'all know I don't really do the strap thing. So if it can come off, I take it off. If it can't, I cut it off. <laughs> Um, these are some extra charms from Sheen. I don't even remember what I have in here. Oh, you know what? I think this is where my extra pink Q-tips are. The ones from Sheen that I pop out of my bag. Come on, man. Open. Stop showing off for company. There we go. All right. So pink Q-tips from Sheen. These are linked in lots of my what's in my bag videos. And I will try to make sure, um, to link the storefront and make sure those links are here as well. So anywho, moving on. So we got the straps from Victoria's Secrets. We got those phone stands from the Dollar Tree. Um, this is where I keep some of my lady products to make it easier to just go ahead and get it in my purse. So I have my lady product items here and I just switch them in the purse. These are the travel size perfumes and um, nail files that I put in my purse. Then we've got tons of Bath and Body Work lotions and a couple of other ones. Like I found these over the holidays. 
Um, it was like four or five to a pack and I just picked up a few thinking they would be cute for my purse as well. So I've got a shitload of lotions in here, y'all. I don't need to buy another one. That's why I haven't been buying any. Um, then this one is where I keep chapsticks and lip gloss. So the lip glosses that are not currently in my purse or currently on the desk at work or currently on the vanity, I put them in here. Or when I buy extras, I like to put them in here. Like I bought these cute chapsticks over the holidays. Focus! And... Um, I put the extra ones in here that I'm not, you know, currently using. So lip glosses and chapsticks. Then moving down, these are those little compact pop-out brushes with the mirror in it. So basically I keep all of my compact brushes and comb attachments in there. This one also has some combs and some brushes and stuff. These are those cool thing, um, comb pins I showed you guys about a year ago that I got off of Sheen in that huge Sheen haul that I did. So I have those in there. A couple of, um, what you call them? Um, blotting sheets and then this is some setting spray I found at the Dollar Tree then in this pocket I have all of my compact mirrors for my purse and here's where I have my tissues and my soap sheets so I have the different pouches that I have the ones that Novel Crown made for me extra packs of tissues to put them in there um, soap sheets from Shop Miss A and then these are those other um, tissue pouches that I was using for a while but once you start opening this slit to get the tissue out it gets really loose and I just didn't like it like it was just loose and just mm -mm, I wasn't feeling it no more so I don't really use those but I still have them I don't intend to get rid of them or sell them just yet this pocket has flashlights and then I think this is a pop socket of one of my cell phones I never put back but these are those Dollar Tree flashlights um then I have one of those pouches from Sheen that has a few of my business cards left in it I don't really hand these out anymore um I don't currently have anything on Macari that I'm selling but usually when I do sell something on Macari I would add one of those cards in there and then this starts the Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer chaos. <laughs> so I have tons and tons of Bath and Body Works holders as well as the um, the gels themselves. So the bunch of them. Usually if I put a hand sanitizer in it, I don't bother to take it out. <laughs> Just buy more when I need it. This way the next time I use it, I don't have to do it. But some have... Um, gel um hand sanitizers in them and some don't then this pouch is um where i keep my cloud a pair of scissors like for opening happy mail opening packages i keep my icebreakers mint some of the extra ones that i'm not currently using because sometimes i like to switch flavors and then i have two of those little um balls i can't remember the brand name but they had um reached out to me and asked me to um do a review on these so these are those little sticky balls that you can let roll around the bottom of your purse either while you're using it or even after you use it if you want to like clean it out let them roll around and then the two sides of the ball actually pop open and then you can hand wash the ball inside um sorry adjusting my leg <laughs> you can hand wash the ball inside and then reuse it and then the very bottom row is just literally all the gels so i have all the gel hand sanitizers that i currently have a couple of more holders in there these are the rest of the holders this is the one i was recently using where i put the sticker on it i love it but i'm having trouble getting this centerpiece out to refill it so if anybody knows the secret let me know because when i pull this piece up which is how it originally comes it comes with this piece like slightly out so that you can just take it out and fill it up when i went to pull it out the whole straw and the whole centerpiece did not come out only the very top button did and i know that's not how it works i got a couple more in here i've got a light pink one and there's a hot pink one i also had ordered this thicker purple one that looks like the touchland one everybody is using y'all know i love my layla purple so i wanted to use this in every setup i didn't care if it didn't match but this is super thick and I just wasn't feeling it. Y'all know how I am about my real estate. I just wasn't feeling it. I got one of the um, spray ones in there. And then a couple more holders in here. Y'all look at how cute this is. It still has tags on it. I haven't had a chance to use it yet. But look. Y'all remember that pink gummy bear everybody wanted? Which I got in these pockets somewhere. But look. It's coming up so much lighter on camera than in person. But it's a Layla Purple gummy bear. Isn't it cute? My girl Maya E found this in Bath and Body Works and sent it to me around the holidays. Thank you so much, girl. So yeah, these are all of my, trying to get up y'all. These are all of my purse goodies that get tossed in the purse in every setup. So usually when I'm getting ready to switch bags, I come over here and grab all the things that I need and everything's kind of organized together and I know what's going on. So those goodies are in the linen closet. Is that the typical place you would put your bag items? No, but guess what? It is up here near the actual boutique so it is easy for me to grab what i need and not have to be bouncing room to room and that's the reason i put them here so again ignore the extras the tupperware the christmas pillows the bags we're gonna ignore all of that this is the window i know y'all can't really see good but that's the window 
And I did decide to move the shoe stand from in front of the window because it creates so much more light in here, which I love. Not just for the room when I'm in here playing with my toys, AKA my bags, but when you just walk through this area to go to my room, the kids room, whatever, it just brought so much light to the second level of the house. I'm really happy with this decision. So these are the same two shoe stands that used to sit in front of the window, which made the room so dark. I have gotten rid of some shoes. Um, that I don't find myself wearing that I know I'm not going to wear again. And of course, I have added some shoes <laughs> since the last boutique video. Again, ignore the Christmas tree over here. We are getting the last of the things put up. But yeah, I just have all of my shoes and stuff over here. I know you guys probably can see some stuff peeking around the corner. Those are where I toss little goodies that I think I'm going to put like in the next giveaway or I'm going to put in something when I sell something on Macari, you know, throw a little freebie in there. Those are just things that I know I'm not going to use. They're not my style, not my cup of tea, you know, what have you. So yeah, so these are the shoes. Now, back in front of the window, I have this ottoman here. Again, ignore the Tupperware. This was at the foot of the bed in the master bedroom. If you watched my um, girl shopping day with Bestie haul video, um, I talked about how I found a new ottoman. And I did. Um, but it's so much stuff on it right now, y'all. Laundry and everything. I can't show it to y'all right now. I'll show it to you in another video. But the ottoman itself is sexy AF. So what I did was I moved this ottoman from the foot of the bed and replaced it with a new one. Um, and in here, I'm going to show you guys, there's nothing fancy. At the very bottom, I have a couple of, sorry about the noise, a couple of older shoe boxes that just aren't my cup of tea to use anywhere. So I have those juicy couture heart pouches in here that I tried to use as lady pouches but they weren't big enough in my opinion they're kind of big to just put ch change or coins and they're also kind of big um to put candy but I may do candy one day and some of my setups especially when I carry the bags where the heart matches the setup perfectly um but right now I haven't currently been using them a lot so they are in here if anybody was wondering I did not get rid of them I do still love them and then as you can see in here I have a shitload of air paper every time I get a package whether it be for me the kids whatever I throw all the air paper in here and then on this side I just have a Kate Spade shopping bag <laughs> that I just chose to keep because sometimes it makes it easier for me to grab the little things like the lotion and the hand sanitizer and that kind of stuff if I didn't want to switch bags in this room in the boutique I will load this up with what I want and then take this to my bed and sit on my bed and usually I'm watching one of y'all's videos while I'm actually ch changing into a new bag this is another little kind of iridescent clear-ish looking bag that I also use sometimes um when I'm switching bags uh oh come on now get it together I will also choose this to grab my goodies out of whatever drawer or pocket or whatever, put it in there and then take it where I'm switching bags. Sometimes I will switch bags in Hubby's man cave and watch TV with him. Or like I said, sometimes I'll do it on the bed. So that is what is in the ottoman. <clears throat> and then over here is the couch. Again, ignore the extras on it. These are some things that I got over the holidays. Some as gifts, some I bought myself. And I need to put them up. However, your girl is maxed the hell out, okay? I can't buy another bag. I don't need another wallet, another pouch. Nathan, Nathan. So these new goodies can't even fit in my current boutique setup. So I have an idea. I just didn't want to do the idea until I filmed this video because I wanted you guys to see how things are currently stored. And I think the way it's currently stored is bomb. Your girl just shot too goddamn much. Now I can't fit all my shit in there. So anyway, this is a couch. I love how the natural light is on the couch from the window. I'm hoping to do my next what's in my bag video here. Um, we'll see how it goes. Y'all, I really love showing y'all the whole bag, but I kind of want to be on camera in the next video. So I don't know. We'll see. And then this is the star of the show, in my opinion. This is the, <clears throat> um, sorry y'all, this is the Calyx from Ikea. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's a 25 cube, so it's the largest one that they have. I kind of wish they made it even numbered because I feel like I would have had just enough space right here to have that extra <laughs> cube. Um, and maybe I wouldn't be maxed out of space. I don't know. But anyway, this is the 25 cube calyx from Ikea. Um, I've seen this in other videos, like in people's living rooms and in other people's bedrooms. And they've done all kind of decor, decorating things. Um, but when I saw that Michelle purchased this for her um, closet or bag room, I was like, oh my God, bro. I could store so many more bags on here than my current boutique setup. So I did um, purchase this as well as we purchased an 
all white dresser and placed it in the closet. I didn't focus on it to show you guys that in the closet, but there's an all white dresser in the closet. And then the one that used to be in there, the chest, it's been removed and placed in here. And I'm going to show you guys how it comes into play with the boutique. So going all the way up, I'm not going to go over every bag. I'm just going to kind of show you guys some of the extra stuff. So moving up, <clears throat> this is a camera. So don't come here, start no shit, fuck around and find out. Um, this is one of my charm stands, which has some of everything. I have this cute little bestie, um, wooden thing here. Bestie got me this as a gift. I've got this charm from, um, coach with that Layla purple release last summer. And both of those items I got together and they still have the tag on them. So <laughs> don't judge me, judge your mama. This is another stand. I wouldn't necessarily call it a charm stand. To be honest, these aren't designed for charms. You'd use anything the way you want. If you're like me, you have an eye for something and you see the way it is shaped and you figure out a way that you can use it. So this is actually one of those um, jewelry stands. I've seen it in the timber stores. I got mine off of Amazon. It's got three levels and it's it's maxed the, max the hell out, y'all. Got so much. But look, look at this one, y'all. This is one of my newer ones. Do you see that? Look how cute that is. Isn't that adorable? So this is the last one I've ordered from Carmen, from Charm by Carmen. I have said her name and her um, business plenty of times, so I'm sure you guys are familiar with her. If you're not, you need to hop your fine ass on over there and check her out. Her charms are fire. Back there, as you can see, is my LV on the go... Uh, mm this is a if you know you know piece for my ig seller and i just have the palm charm that's hanging in front of it it's on the stand but that is the palm charm that i had on the bag and i just have it propped up on some boxes that like wallets and smaller slgs came in this particular stand here i actually got from the goodwill it was already this color and i just chose to leave it black one day i may paint it white or purple i don't know but this room is more of like a bronzy fall or orange rustic color kind of theme as you can see with the curtain here so I kind of just leave things in here that kind of match with that so this actually turns and I have charms for days on here got four or five charms on every hook and then on the inside it has just a little swirly design and I kind of cheated and hung some charms on there as well I don't know how easy it's going to be to see this. Let me see if I can move this. So if you remember and you heard me say um, there was a TV on the wall before I moved into this room as Babe Cave. I'm sorry, as a boutique. And when I was in here as a boutique, the TV was still in here. So when I decided to get this Calyx, I had convinced hubby we don't need the TV. Nobody's sitting in here playing. Everybody plays their games in their room. Nobody's playing in this room. Let me add a whole room. So anywho, <laughs> I got the whole room and when he took the TV down, of course you have the little holes from where it was mounted and stuff and he didn't like that. So um, him and his dad painted that part and painted some you know, other spots in the house as well while they had the paint out. But long story short, hubby didn't like how that white strip looked in comparison to above it where you can see the color of the wall is kind of that, I don't know, pale tan yellowish color that comes in a new home. So anywho, he ordered these letters off Amazon, didn't tell me about it, put them on the wall, didn't tell me about it. And I think they look great. My only problem is you can't see them. Let me step back. When I put all of my stuff in front of it, you can't see the name Miss Espy. So that kind of sucks, but I still love it. And as I've told you guys before, or if you're new here, Miss Espy is actually my nickname. I've had that one for years, but YouTube and Instagram didn't have it available. And there's only one of my crazy ass. So that's where just when Espy comes from as far as my channel name. Next, we have the Mina bag that I recently unboxed. Next, we have a Michael Kors backpack that I purchased last year for me and Bestie. And I have not carried mine yet. <laughs> She's carried hers, though. She loves it. This container I got from Amazon, I don't, I can't remember if it's in my storefront or if it was no longer available. Can't remember. Anyway, I'll try to see if it's still in there. Um, but I've got my sunglasses in there and I do keep some sunglasses in the closet as well. These are like my favorites that I do tend to wear and switch into often. And then over here is another one of those jewelry stands, three tier, just like on the other side of the top of this, um, where I've got the little mini coach rogue. Look at this, y'all. How cute is this? It's adorable. Look at your little baby. It's adorable. So I kind of have this up here for show. I haven't really used it yet, but you could easily put some candy in there or change if you want to. Those two high heel shoes were some perfumes that I had gotten a gift. Um, kind of travel size. And once I used all the perfume, I thought they would look cute in here as kind of, you know, props on top of my unit. So that is what is on top. Like I said, I'm not going to go through all the bags, but I've got all my bags tucked in here, y'all. There are bags that are pushed up on top of levels so that you can see them behind the bags in the front. So 
there are all kinds of bags in here try not to go too fast and make y'all dizzy but there are tons and tons of bags in here essentially this is where i store all the bags so not gonna go through um every single cube or like i said say the names of the bags just kind of giving you guys a brief overview of what's kind of at eye level or chest level up here so yeah so this is where i have all the bags stored besides what i've shown you in the closet and besides what i've shown you in the babe cave video where i showed you how i do have bags stored in there because everything can't fit in one place if i had my way every single bag would be in this room um but there's there's mm -mm, there's there's no way to do it so i just had to get over myself okay so now when i walk out of the room and walk around the couch this chest was in our master closet it was in our master closet and now i'm currently using it for all of the slgs again discard the christmas stuff on top <laughs> discard the tree that you can see over there between the kids rooms i'm a work in progress y'all but i'm getting close to the timer so let me restart it all right we're golden so as you can see this is a five drawer chest that matches our bedroom set and the rest of our furniture so in here on top is just some decorations and then the christmas stuff we're getting put up these items were already on the wall anyway um before i moved into this chest so in here is where i have all of my slgs all my wallets all my pouches all my wristlets everybody in here now these drawers were never on tracks i don't know what the what it's called that it was under but they were never on those official tracks where it slides right so they slide against wood so it's going to be loud when i open and close each drawer it's kind of a sticking motion so i'm just giving you guys a heads up on the noise but i am going to show you inside each and every drawer all right so this one has a lot of pouches. I've tried to organize them by colors, but the more I buy, the more the space is maxed out and that's not really possible. So I've got some of everything, blues, greens, yellows, oranges, that rust tan color from Coach. I got all the purples I could fit together in here. It is super tight. All the purples are here. I've got a whole row of dang pinks, <laughs> some blues and teals in the back. On this side, these are two new pouches that I did get for Christmas. I haven't had a chance to use them yet, but I am excited. These are going to be great catch-all pouches in a purple setup. Y'all know I love my Layla purple. Got those for Christmas from the Novel Crown. Thank you, girl. And then this is a more, I'm moving these things because they're on top of something. I want you guys to be able to see the full drawer. This is just a Morphe pouch. It came with some Layla Purple brushes. Mom Ambition hit me up and was like, hey, you seen these? Oh, great. No, I have an answer card. And then this is the center compartment to that really small, um, skinny, uh, what do you call those things? Bag organizers that I did get from Amazon using, um, Dazzle 77, Shonda's link. So I'm currently using this bag organizer in my bag right now. I'm currently in my Speedy 30 bandolier um from my ig friend if you know you know peace and so in the bottom of here i have all of my little pouches from the dollar tree and other stores that you can place your sunglasses in i just got real i don't know y'all just got real nervous about my sunglasses getting broken again so lately i've only been using my um harder shell cases so the one i have from louis vuitton the ones that i have from coach the one that i found from the timber stores and then tucked in the front here i have all my little um round coin purses in here from coach and i have a louis vuitton one as well but it is currently in my bag i'm currently carrying this is a Dooney and burke one this one i also got for christmas so this is kind of a festive one this will be good to use around christmas time um and it has where you go there we go zipper on top so it's also coin purse or whatever you want it to be you can put candy in here and then i just have a couple more sunglass cases standing up this one I got from Pink Sparkly Chick on Instagram. It's a super pretty purple. It's like a pinkish purple. And then I have my tiny uh, coach umbrellas in here. My other one I think is in my truck in the door because I used it one day. Um, but this is where I keep my two coach mini umbrellas. I got the cherries one. And then I have the, um, oops, wait a minute. The cherries one and then the um, dark signature with the rose print, the Layla Purple collection as I like to call it. <laughs> I'm going to tuck those back in there. So this top drawer is a lot, a lot of flat um, and kind of thin um, cosmetic pouches or catch-all pouches, whatever you want to call them. That's that noise I was talking about. This is my wallet drawer. So I have longer wallets tucked in the back. Um, I've got those, um, what was this called? L-Zip ID wallet or something like that from the Coach Retail. I've got my Felici 
Um, I to grab it. It's tight, y'all. Everything's tight. That's why I got to think of a new way. And I got a new idea. I just didn't want to do it before um, filming this video. So I have my Felici pouches. I have my Louis Vuitton um, Sarah wallet. I've got my Juicy wallets, the longer ones that I received um, as gifts from my mom and subscribers. And then, of course, you know, the ones that I bought for myself. So I have all those in there. I have my other larger wallet from Vicky Secrets. And then I have the Coach, what do you call it? Medium ID zip wallet. I have um, some of them right there. So everything isn't in here there are some in the drawer um, beneath here but i'll show that to you guys there's also two more coach wristlets here and then like a another um what do you call it card holder tucked in here and this pouch is the strap that goes to this id um holder that you can use on a lanyard for work so basically this is like the lanyard strap so anywho these are all the wallets i try to organize them by color but again it gets tough when you have so many but i have all my card holders my zip wallets, my snap pouch wallets, juicy wallets to match my coach bags, Michael Kors, card holder, like all, all, everything's in here. Everything's in here and it's as organized as I can get it. And then tucked over here in the front, I received this pouch um, and a gift from, what's her name, Kelly Crew. Um, and I use it sometimes the same way that I use those Chanel pouches that I showed you guys, the If You Know You Know pouch. These are from The Gate. And I sometimes use this for rollover cards as well as like coupons and um, receipts and stuff. So I just have those tucked in there. But this is essentially my wallet drawer. But you guys, I need somewhere to put these larger pouches and catch-alls I have. So I am thinking about putting my wallets inside of their matching bags. So we'll see how it goes. This drawer, super full. This drawer has lots of pouches, smaller pouches in the back from Sheen and Amazon. Then I've got those um, pouches from Five Below that we um, everybody was picking up. Sometimes I put extra cards in it. I've even put tissue in it sometimes. And then of course candy. I've got more of my Coach Medium ID, ID Zip Wallet. Get it together. These are two of the super long wallets, the one that comes with the wristlet strap on it. These were released with the Layla Purple Collection. There was no way in hell I wasn't picking it up. Even though long, large wallets aren't usually my fave, sometimes I get in a mood and I want to carry one, so I make sure I grab those. This, everybody picked up when they released this print from Victoria's Secret, and I am using it to hold all of my little kiss lock pouches. So all the pouches y'all see me pull out with my candy. Um, this is like my favorite size now to put my candy in because it's just compact and perfect, but I have all of those in there. Um, I tried to, you know, kind of color coordinate them, but when you get so many, sometimes it gets rough. So I have all those in there, and I just have it tucked in this little hole here that I created. Again, in the back, I have a couple more smaller pouches and like the larger kiss lock pouches like my Dooney and Burke one. Um, this larger pouch I got in a gift from Maya E and just some other like larger but small um, pouches and stuff. Then in these two beautiful rows, I have all of my lady pouches. <laughs> this is that... Um, what do you call it? The corner zip wristlet from Coach Outlet that we love to grab to match different things. So I've cut the strap off of all off of, I can't talk, cut the strap off all of mine and added a little charm from Sheen or Amazon. And I just have tons of colors in here, you guys. So I have pretty much just, I mean, I don't have all of them, but I have a good bit of them. So I try to match them in all of my setups and I love using them as my um, lady pouch. Sometimes when I carry a Louis Vuitton bag, I like to use my mini pochette as a lady pouch instead of using one of these. Um, and then currently, since I got that three piece Kirigami set that I showed you guys from my IG seller, that if you know, you know pieces, I, um, I'm actually using the medium size one as a lady pouch right now. And I actually like it. It's it's cool. I like it. So over here, I've got some more pouches. These are kind of the white ones. Then we kind of move into what I have in the black colors. And this might be an example. The Juicy Couture mini backpack that I talked about that I sold. It was with this purple floral print on it. Um, and most of the bag was like this kind of pinkish purplish color and then it had those flowers on it So I did let that one and the matching card holder go quite some time ago and then this drawer Has more pouches and stuff and it is full and heavy So this is the large Kirigami pouch that I recently showed in a video Then underneath that I have my two MCM pouches that come with the MCM totes then I have all of my um, never full pouches. They're all in here together. In the back, I have like the clear 
pouch that comes from Amazon and that three piece set. I haven't used this larger one yet. And then I have this larger pouch that came in a um, collab with Fox and Pip and was it the jewel box? I can't remember, but it's really big. So it's not, I don't know, it's larger than like a catch all size, but I just keep it with all these. And then sometimes if I need it for travel, I'll use it. And then in the front, I have the two large corner zip wristlets <laughs> from the outlet that dropped with the Layla Purple Collection. Just toss them in there. And then over here, as you can see, this one is not quite in a spot because the spots are full. Mike is squeezing in here though. Let's see. I haven't tried. Probably not. Maybe upside down. Oh, sorry. I'm not in frame. Okay. So in here, I have... Um, Louis Vuitton cosmetic case, the standard size, or some people like to call it the small one. This one is authentic, but I got it off eBay like three years ago and it was sticky and peeling on the inside. And so I used acetone and ripped up the entire inside. So now it's like um, soft and fuzzy, but around the zipper, it's kind of turning green, <laughs> honestly, um, after using the stuff that they recommend to make the zipper gold and shiny again. So I don't use that very often, but I do have it. Then I do have the authentic, um, sunrise pastel color, small cosmetic pouch from Louis Vuitton. Then I have tons of pouches from the timber stores, um, coach retail, what's this called? Julian cosmetic case. Um, tons of Nolitas in here. Got this cool pouch from Shonda, it's a 31 pouch. Um, more pouches from Timber Stores. And then this is my toiletry 19. I only have one 19 um, and one 26. And then these are tons more um, Nolitas. The pink, the strawberry, the floral, the red, the denim. Um, I forget what this color is called, but this still has tags. And then you've got the... Um, Valentine's cherry collection in the back. So this is a drawer full of pouches and Nolitas and the bottom drawer is the same way. And that's what I mean when I say I am out of space, you guys, like out of space. So <clears throat> in here, <laughs> I've got those two large, let me see, I might have to pull it out, large Victoria's Secret kind of um, organizer pouches. I have not used these yet, um, but I intended to use them kind of like a bag organizer a little bit, but not really. I'll watch that a hard time getting it back in there left-handed. We'll work it out. Anyway, <laughs> I have this in pink. I also have it in black right behind that. On top ooh, was one of those um, pouches that came in a three-piece set from one of the timber stores. So I've got that one and that one in there. Got more pouches, of course. I have, what is it, three, I think? Yeah, three of the little double zip um, pouches. I see people pull so many things out of here, but when I put my stuff in there like that, y'all, I could barely zip it. Like I literally can't zip it sometimes. So I don't know if it's just me, maybe I'm putting too much, but I haven't really found these functional yet. Um, but I did cut the strap off, so I'm not going to like, you know, sell it or anything like that. I'll figure out a way to use it one day. I really am not the type of person that, um, sells things. I actually will hold on to them forever until I just really feel like there's no functional way for Layla to use it. Um, I have a little clear case here that still has some mask in it from the, you know, season where we had to wear them constantly. These are all of my mini pochettes. These are all authentic. Got a couple of different ones, not too many, one in each print, basically. Um, and then in the back here, we have some more clear pouches, some more other color pouches. I love this one, y'all. This one came in a Simply Gilded sub box, but can you see that? Can you see the texture? It's like a sweater, y'all. It's so neat. I love it. Love it, love it. I think I used that one once so far. So I've got a lot of Dollar, um, dollar Tree, Dollar Store, Dollar 25 Store, <laughs> whatever pouches in here. Um, tons with tags because, you know, it's buying them like crazy. This one is from an Ipsy pouch. I like that gold color. I feel like it's easy to go with everything. I just kind of wish the zipper track wasn't teal because then that kind of makes it where you really want to put it with something with teal items so that it kind of matches, you know, at least if you're matchy matchy. Um, let's see. Then I've got a couple of the Victoria's Secret ones. I have this upside down because it's easier to store it in there. And as you can see, I do have some of the pouches that came in the set, um, either with this piece or with the other trio set, because this one is the duo set, but then you have the trio set that they did release for some of these items. So I have them nestled in each other to try to help with space. Then over here, I have this large pouch I've had for a very long time. 
Um, haven't used it in a while, but it does have some very pretty purple flowers on it. It is kind of large and boxy, so definitely one to use in a tote if you're going to use it as a catch-all. I did cut the strap off. Y'all already know what's up. So I have that. And then here is another item with tags. I purchased this because I wanted to use it as a catch-all in a bag. Um, I did add some cute little cherry charm from um, Sheen. But this, I think, is the Jamie, the small Jamie, maybe? I can't remember the name. But anyway, I cut the strap off of it. I do still have it. So if I wanted to, like, take it somewhere and get it altered so that it did have clasp and it could go on and off, I could do that. Um, but I intend to use this as a catch-all. I just haven't done it yet. I really haven't done a pink and red setup um, since last year, honestly. So... Anywho, I've got more pouches in here from Timber Stores. I've got the little mini um, Coach Outlet cosmetic case. I can't remember what that's called. And let me pull this out so I can show you guys. Underneath, I have this little makeup organizer. It's to organize your compacts like eyeshadow and blush and stuff like that. I have all of my little chains in there that I have from Amazon and other bags, both gold and silver. So that when I want to turn certain bags into crossbodies for vacation or... Um, like that toiletry 26 I mentioned, I have the insert so that I can make it a crossbody bag. That's where the chain is for that. And then I have a couple more Vicky's pouches and Sheen pouches. This is a Bath and Body Works pouch. This is a Nolita 15. Yeah, 15. Um, this is that other smaller pouch that comes in a trio from Walmart. This one is good to put like your lip gloss and makeup stuff in. And then I have two more um, Nolita 15s tucked back there. And that is the final drawer. So I'm going to show you guys what the room looks like from like the kids point of view. Not that they care, but if I go to visit them, you hear me? If <laughs> when I go to their rooms and harass them, this is what the room looks like to me. Sorry, I bumped the tripod. Um, so this is what it looks like from this angle. So as you can see, you have my master bedroom door there. You have the linen closet. That was the laundry room. I'm sure you saw the wash machine as I was showing you the items inside the linen closet. But as you can see, see how close that is to here? So it's very easy for me to grab the lotion, the perfume, the hairbrush. Um, sometimes I do sit right here on the couch and get things done as far as switching bags and all that. Um, but yeah, you guys, this is what the boutique looks like from here. Now, I will say we do have a two-story foyer. So you can see this dresser and my shoe stand from downstairs when you come to the front door I don't care it doesn't look a one if I could have this room like closed off and different I definitely would but your girl got to work with what she got because I like bags and as y'all can see I like shoes so <laughs> this is how the view looks from this side as you can see there is a little table here table excuse me table with a little floor arrangement on it that kind of goes with the room that little rustic orange color vase and then as you can see there is a tumbler there I got that one from Walmart it's just a white tumbler no emblem or anything on it and I do keep water in there so when I'm in here cleaning up the accessories from a previous bag setup or picking them out or when I do choose to film in here I drink from that cup so yeah you guys this is the current boutique I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I hope you got some ideas and some ways that you can store your things um, again, I'm thinking about moving wallets and pouches that match bags perfectly to like moving them to inside of the bag um, so that I can kind of capitalize on the space in the drawer for the items that don't perfectly match a bag or, you know, just can't go anywhere else and need somewhere to go. Because again, I am out of space, y'all. Out of space. When I tell you I cannot buy another bag unless I sell one, I literally mean it this time. Like I have filled all the cubes in the cave, all the cubes in here. There are no more hooks in the closet. There is no more space on the shelf in the closet. So this is it, you guys. This is my lovely current setup. And I like this one so much better. The white calyx just makes the room brighter. The window not having the shoe stand in front of it just makes the room brighter. The whole second level brighter. And I know it's changing as I move um, as far as the camera where it's getting its light from. But yeah, you guys, this is how everything is set up. So I hope that you enjoyed. Hope you got some great ideas. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.